I, 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 speaking of family, I want to start on a bit of a personal note. In 2001, you recorded um, Almost a Full Moon, uh, yep. which, which I've decided is uh, uh, has one of my favorite Hoxie Workman tunes, which is Three Generations. It's a song that wells me up every year around this time because it evokes memories of my grandmother, who is very dear to me, who passed away in 2006. Whenever I listen to the tune, I can just see her washing the dishes uh, in the kitchen. You were very close with your grandmother, weren't you? Yeah, uh, you know, my grandma was, I think, has in many ways a lot to do with the kind of person I became. Um, she was a real storytelling, kooky lady, you know. I think think about it, really. Um, she had lived a, a very interesting life by, you know, by, I guess, standards of her generation. And um, I... Growing up with her seemed like there was always a possibility for magical things to occur, and um, and she loved Christmas. She loved Christmas uh, like a kid loves Christmas. And as a kid, it, being around that kind of energy was so exciting. And so, all of that stuff was taken very seriously. And those, it just felt like that the that somewhat um, dismal come down after the whole Christmas lead up was always a, a sentimental affair when we were all in like in that song like it illustrates in the in the kitchen washing dishes together and I don't think I quite understood the gravity of it until the last few years that she was alive. Yeah, I, I sort of had that same sense. What kind of good stories did your grandma used to tell you? Well, you know, my grandma was um she and her sister had a hair salon in Toronto uh, in the Second World War. During the Second World War, they loved to dance. My grandma loved to spend the money she made uh, on psychics to see how her husband was doing in the war. And My grandma also liked to play cards, so my brother and I would play poker with her, and we'd usually play for money, and we'd help her roll cigarettes, and then when we would win, whoever won the money, we would go into town to spend it. And she would insist that the three of us, my brother, her, and I, that we uh, get dolled up, as she said, so we'd go into the bathroom and wear makeup into town <clears throat> with to spend our money. And she just didn't, there was no real rules with my grandma, you know? Yeah, I got a, I got a good one that you might appreciate. My grandmother uh, lived in Chicago in the 40s, and she used to see uh, Billie Holiday all the time, who was her idol. And uh, her drummer got in a punch-up. And my grandfather, who was a medic in the Navy, uh, patched him up, but only on the one condition that she introduced, or he introduced my grandmother to Billie Holiday, uh, and she did, and uh, she was shooting heroin up and backstage, and it kind of just... That is unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> and in, I, I think in 1945, she wrote her uh, thesis statement on why they should, on why the government should legalize heroin. So it's kind of like those imprints that your grandparents kind of leave with you forever, you know? She wrote a paper on legalizing heroin. Yeah, 1945, I think. This is like circa reefer madness, I think. Unbelievable.